The following video is intended for adult collectors and is not recommended for children under the age of 13. Parental discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Kato again with another third party Transformers review. Today we're going to take a look at Magic Square's MSB27 Voice Ripple. It's their take on a legend scale sound wave. Before we do that, I just want to say thank you again to all my subscribers. But if you're here for the first time, or if you've been here and not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know I have more stuff like this coming. And I always have stuff like this coming. Now, before we take a look at the accessories and then Soundwave himself, we're going to roll that intro and get started. It's Kato! Firstly, you get his blaster. You can see it looks great. That gray silver paint on the end there, although mine does have a flaw on the tip there, but it looks like you would imagine. A little red paint there on blue plastic, a little bit of black paint in the back, and it does contract. Be careful. Push in from here so that you can store it in alt mode as a battery. You also get his shoulder cannon here. Again, the red stripe there on the top, the little missile launcher or Gatling gun style there on the front. Peg here in the back. And it pegs onto the shoulder using this little tab here, although it does fold out. Couldn't tell you why unless they want you to use it for articulation, but it doesn't really work that way. So yeah, there's that. You get a left and right handed pointy finger molded really well. You also get two of his ejecting fingers, which I'm not really sure why you want a left and right version of that, but you do get it. You get a clear Energon cube, which looks really good, but it's fairly useless on the figure itself. It looks like it's meant to plug into the chest, but it does not do that, and I'll show that later. You get a left and right pile driver for Frenzy and or Rumble. I'll let you guys argue over who is whom goes on similar to the masterpiece scale. You fold the arm down and slide that in. I don't like doing it. The pegs are a little too small on the figure and I just don't want to risk it. But they do extend like you would imagine. Very cool. They give you a decal sheet in case you want to doll him up a little bit. A lot of decals here. I'm not sure I'll use it. I'm undecided, but it is a cool option. And you get instructions, which give you a reasonable idea of what you need to do but you're going to do a lot of figuring out on your own or you're going to watch this video and I'll show you how. And lastly, you get the collector's card, which I'm not in the collector's card, but as far as they go, this is a high quality one. Credit card plastic and nice art on the front. The gun just pegs into the hand like so. The shoulder cannon just pegged right into his shoulder like you would imagine. The cassettes can slide right into his chest, although Scout does a lot better than Frumble. And if you have a hard time getting them out, you can open up the back and through the hole there, just give it a little push and get them out. As I mentioned before, you should be able to use this Energon cube to plug in right here, but it does not do it no matter how hard I try. If you wanted to, I guess you could fold this down and sit it inside here like it's coming out or just place it on the tray. As we start to look at the mini cassettes here, you know what, I'm gonna call him Frenzy from now on. In this video, Rumble is red, Frenzy is blue. Don't at me. So the cassettes are small, chunky little dudes, and I mean small. Real quick, I'll grab a Siege cassette. Look at there, Siege Battlemaster cassette. They are tiny. So there's your size comparison. You get Scout, which is super boring and nobody wants him. I say that's selfish of me, I don't want him. One of my biggest flaws with the set is they force you to get Sound Blaster if you want Laser Beak, and I think that's pretty lame because, I mean, they know what they were doing, right? I think Laser Beak and Frenzy should have came with Soundwave, and Rat Bat should have come with Sound Blaster, but that's just me. So there's a little scout there, tiny guy who will always and forever stay in cassette mode as a chest filler. Yay. And the star of the show, as far as the accessories go, 
frenzy. Man, the little guns here. Be careful with these, they will be easy to lose. Come off, I'll show you those in a second. Transformation's pretty easy. Just unpeg from here and here. Stretch those arms out of the way. And you're going to fold at the waist here and bring the legs out. You're looking a little knock knee, but you're just gonna twist the legs forward and then twist the feet around to the front and then get the arms all together. Nothing difficult, but let's take a look at him real quick. So this looks very tune accurate to me, especially for such a tiny guy. Look at that. I mean, the head sculpt is great. You get head articulation, plenty of articulation in the arms. Uh, nothing at the wrist, but at least nothing I, yeah, Nothing at the wrist. Look at that. If I can get it to focus on this little guy, that looks so good. The legs will go out about that far, back and forward, bend at the knee, and ball joint articulation at the feet. But sculpt-wise, man, they nailed it. Sorry about the blur. Really hard to focus on this little dude. Now the guns that you saw, I'm laying down, they work a lot like the Masterpiece. They are very tiny. And there's a tiny little, I'm sure I'll get out of focus here, a tiny little button here or hook here to extend those so that you can put them on his back on these little pegs here. So that's great. And with the other one, if you want, you can extend that again and plug it into his hand as a weapon. Very tiny, but very accurate. Look at that. You also get waist articulation. Genius. So yeah, man, that is phenomenal. And just for craps and ha-has, there he is beside Siege Frenzy. Yeah, question mark. And now we finally get to take a look at Soundwave himself. Really good looking guy. I mean, geez, man, this thing looks right out of the cartoon. Look at that head sculpt. That red paint, blue and silver, yellow on the chest. Going down, you get the red there. I mean, we all know what Soundwave looks like, and this looks like Soundwave. Cleans up well in the back, I think. Nothing to complain about there. Articulation is really good. The head will do a full 360, albeit really tight on that peg, so be careful. Arms will go up that far, rotate all the way around, bend at the elbow, and the because of how these peg in, you do get arm articulation. So that's really good, and biceps will. You get 360 at the waist, no bend at the waist, and be very careful because that mushroom peg does tend to want to slide off legs. You can flip this little flap, go up, back, plenty of knee bend, over 90. Thigh swivel up here at the upper thigh, toe tilt. Uh, you do get some ankle pivot, but it's kind of phony. You don't actually get it because of the casing of the leg, but it is what it is. So yeah, I mean, cosmetically, oh, just showed his crotch there. It looks pretty damn perfect, right? There he is besides Seed Soundwave and Red Alert for a little comparison. Now let's get this guy transformed. The instructions are not fantastic, so I'm gonna try to help you out here if you get this guy, which I, spoiler alert, I recommend you get him. Go ahead and flip the head around 360. Open this up all the way and just accordion everything out, right? And flip this down. Pop the head up on this other hinge and fold it in and just slide it inside there. If you need to adjust anything, you can open this up and kind of level them out a little bit. Just like that. Fold this back down, but leave it up a bit to give you some room. Get the arms up. 
Uh, the arms are kind of annoying because there are tiny, tiny little tabs in here that swivel all this together, but you really just want to fold them like that. I mean, if I, I can watch, boop, they come right out. So it's just a little nub, not great. So but yeah, you just want to fold those like that. Same on this one, pop this tab right here fold everything in together flat nothing too crazy now the reason i had you leave this up is because you've got to rotate there's three pieces here there's the bottom half top half and the middle half ah, math what you want to do is i find it easier to swivel the entire bottom half around and that much see that mushroom peg comes off super easy and then rotate the holding this rotate the legs back around that's the easiest way to do it. And just leave this sitting up like so for now. Now you can go ahead and lay that flat. And you can, the instructions, let's see, let me do one more thing first. Split the legs, bring this down, rotate that around and back up. Make sure it's sitting kind of flat. You can bring the legs back down. Now you can go ahead and bring this in and tab that right here, but I'll tell you there, you're going to be doing that a lot throughout the transformation because of how you have to do the legs, but they sit just like that kind of sloppy. This right here is the worst part of the entire look of alt mode, but that's how you do it. They don't really tab anywhere. Now the legs, you're going to open this flap, bring this out, flip this up and come to the front and right there. And you're going to leave that in that L shape like so. This is the interesting part of the transformation. So all these internals right here basically are going to flatten against the back of the leg. So just give it a pull. And the only, I mean, really the only math to it is just to keep moving this until you get it like that bring the foot up and flatten it to make the top now you're gonna swing all this hold that there and now this tab is going to go into this new slot right here on the side of the leg like so all right now you're going to rotate inward Right, as you bring it up so that this pe this hole goes on that peg. Pretty tight fit, but you can do it. And there's one half of them done. Do it again on this leg. We'll fold that out, fold that up, fold that up, fold this out on the front and just let it sit. You, know, you can go ahead and fold this let the foot up and then in. And gives you a base for this to line up to stretch the leg out kind of bring everything so that it does that move hold right here straighten up and let it tab in just like the other side and that's how that's done again you're going to rotate in and up so that that hole and that peg can line up again fairly tight fit but just squeeze it together on the front. The last thing is to bring this down and fill up this gap and you can see that we're moving right along. Now is where you take the guns, sandwich that in. Now this one is, they're each different. Take that peg, put it in that little hole right there, like so. The other one is a little different. So you're going to take this tab and put it in this middle slot right here, just like that. Now you can close these panels up and I'll neaten them up and we'll take a look at him. So Soundwave in his alt mode looks fantastic from this angle. I don't mind the head. Like I said, you can put useless scout in here and cover all that up 
make it look a lot neater just like that but i love the detail on the front that kind of silverish white there all your buttons here and on the side on the inside of that flap you get all the faux buttons and knobs and dials the eject button is just cosmetic it doesn't really do anything some weird little paint speckles on here but i don't mind from the side it looks all right front this side looks great the top looks pretty good the bottom looks like crap and the back looks horrible not as horrible as long as you have the batteries in but this is hideous but you know you know what they say we don't look at our transformers from the back but that looks really really good i think it speaks for itself quick size comparison there he is besides siege red alert final thoughts on magic squares voice ripple uh, i can't say that i don't recommend it it's really really awesome it has some loose joints the leg is a little loose and gets a little floppy the back of the transformation in alt mode looks kind of junky Transformation overall is fun, it's enjoyable, the paint is good, he looks great, Frenzy is freaking awesome, Scout is useless, should have gotten a laser beak, but overall, a really good bot. And if you're a Legends collector, this is the way to go. I can't imagine, I really can't imagine a better one unless someone can clean up the backside of the alt mode a little bit. Take some time. Look down in the description below and subscribe to the other Rejecticons. That's Sardinus by 82, Larkin's Lair, and Inu Tabi. Great friends of mine and good people and good entertainment for Transformers and just toy fans in general. As always, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and always play. This is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut. It's Kato.